Janssen to see Dr. Powers. Please, take a seat. What about me? Dr. Mystery will be here soon. I can hear the ringing. That'll be the phone. We've got a phone. What's wrong with everyone today? I've got a ringing. Where's Rana? Your guess is as good as mine. Has anyone rung it? No. Why not? Because it's been a long day. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Exactly. Come on. Come on. Someone. The phone. You answer it, Mac. We've only the one pair of hands. Just can't get the staff these days. Well, the doctor down, Mac, unless you're expecting Steve to work. No, I'm not. Has anyone checked on him? <laughs> yeah. Again? Well, at least he's consistent. Maybe someone should. Rana is going to be consistently unemployed if he's not careful. Well, we should do something, shouldn't we? I mean, his wife has just been killed. It's all right, Anushka, all right. It's... I'm going out anyway. I've got to change Mrs Hillier's dressing. It's probably best left. You'll have family around. I suppose. Telephone's still ringing. It's stopped. Hello, surgery. <laughs> it's my baby. He's ill. Is that right? What seems to be the trouble? He's hot. He's got a runny nose and he's been awake all night. He's got a temperature of 104. Look, I'm really worried about him. Can a doctor come out and see him? Unfortunately, all of our doctors have got surgery at the moment. A worried mother. Let me talk to her. Just a minute. Dr Maguire will have a word. I told you, you should have got it. Uh, Dr. McGuire, I believe your son is ill. It's probably nothing. Symptoms? A cough, cold, runny nose. Well, that'll be a cough, cold and a runny nose, then. And no other symptoms. Oh, that's good. It sounds to me like a simple cold, but just be on the safe side. Is there any way you can bring him in? I can't. I haven't got a car. And anyway, I don't want to move him. Not with a fever. I don't want to make him worse. Don't worry, I'll come. I just won't be able to get away till after surgery. Say, about 12.30. And I'll, um... I'll ask Nurse Flynn to drop in as soon as possible. What? No, she's going out anyway. So, where are you? OK. In the meantime, don't worry. Give him some cowpaw. That'll help. Mm -hmm. Bye. It's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. Now, 17 Hillington Road. Call me if you need me. I don't think it's anything too serious. Then why am I going? Because give or take two or three hundred yards of Ring Road is just round the corner from Mrs Hillier's. So who's supposed to be doing home visits today? Rana. Oh, why did I ask? Come on, then, Joe. Who's my first sick note of the day? Uh, Sheena Jansen. Sheena Jansen? Can't be found, eh? We've tried. Nothing. I'll kill him. Join the queue. What about a locum? It's difficult at short notice. I and mean, what if something's really wrong? Is it OK to send Anushka? I mean, what if we're in breach of contract? Well, someone's got to go. It's the best solution till I can get there. Well, on your own head, be it. Easy. Which side of the bed did you get out of this morning? I don't get a side of the bed. I get a slice, thanks to you. Lovely day. Sorry about the delay. How can I help? <clears throat> it's not me. It's my husband. What about him? He won't have sex with me. I see. He won't or can't. Both, I think. I'm not sure. And how long has it been since, um... Seven years. He's been in prison. Ah. But that's the problem. I assumed when he got out, it, it wouldn't to. I, I mean, you would, wouldn't you, after seven years? Very possibly. Well, tell him to come in and see me. He'd rather stick pins in his eyes. I'm sorry, but if there's something wrong with your husband, I can't treat him or refer him to the appropriate person unless I can examine him. No. Oh, thank you. Anyway. Send him the next patient, please. Yes, sir. Oh, what's wrong with her? Same as the rest of us, probably. Can you get me Reese Boyd's notes, please? They should be at the back there somewhere. Okay. Steve. Sure, Tom. Get me. Steve, are you okay? Mm-hmm. 
What are you doing? Well, I was going to prepare for surgery. Are you sure that's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be? I'm a doctor, aren't I? Or is somebody going to take that away from me as well? I'm sorry. It's OK. I'm sorry. So sorry. It's just I thought work would... will take my mind off it. Something has to. It's too soon. You shouldn't be here. That's why I keep telling myself. You've lost the person closest to you. I didn't lose her. She was mugged. He took a purse. I know. And her life. I'm only thinking of you. You don't have to worry about me. Easier said than done. Really? Maybe it's best to let Steve take his surgery. Uh-uh. Well, at least we know where he is. We can keep an eye on him. No. Nope. Look, what else is he supposed to do? Sit at home, feel miserable? Well, let's hope not. But there's his family, there's Bev's family. He ought to be with them. I'm just as sorry for him as anybody else. But his coming in here, hoping to block it out, won't help. It might. Well, maybe this is his way of coping with things. He obviously thinks it's a good idea, or else he wouldn't be here. And maybe he's not the one to make that decision. We don't know that. I know we don't know that, but I am the senior partner. I must be allowed to call the shots. Use my judgment. Based on what? <laughs> Experience. Knowing Steve. And knowing how I'd feel in the same circumstances. How would you feel? Kate, I can't cope if you're out of the building. Thank you. Liam! Put it down! Come here. I want to see a doctor. What's the problem? Zip. Sticks. If you'd like to take a seat, Dr. Thompson can see you after surgery, but you'll have a wait. Fine. Come here. Sit still. I thought we gave you time out. I don't want to. Well, I'm afraid it's not negotiable. I'm having too much fun without you. Look, I appreciate your concern, but really, I'm fine. Really, I am. But I won't allow it. It's not for you to decide. It is if I think your patients are at risk. Sorry. Have you been? Doctors. What for? You. You what? You heard. They say they can't do anything until they examine you. You should go. I'll go when I'm good and ready. How ready do you need to be? Not now, Sheena. Then when? Because I'm tired of ignoring it and pretending that everything is all right. It's not your problem. No, it's our problem. Imagine how it makes me feel. Hmm? Imagine how I feel. Imagine what it's like having to tell a doctor. It's nothing. What do you mean? Nothing. I don't think it's nothing if you can't... I said not now! Because I say so, and I'm your husband. Shame you can't act like it then. What are you looking at? What's his problem? Same as mine. The mum was up here when you were inside.
So no news from the police? No, nothing. I just don't know what to do. Well, there's nothing you can do. You just have to carry on. I don't know how to, Mac. Everything I look at, every, everywhere I go, everything I touch reminds me of Bev. Steve, look, it's bound to be difficult at first. You know, the last time I saw her, she, she kissed me and she said, have fun. She was, she was right there. I know it's hard. It's time, that's what you need. You need to allow yourself the chance to grieve in your own time. Spare me the speeches, I've done them too often. <laughs> you okay driving? I got here, didn't I? We all know how much you loved her. No, you don't. She was the best thing that ever happened to her. That's what you've got to hold on to. You'll always know that. Yeah, well, I wasn't always the best husband. Don't say that. You don't understand. Things weren't... Well, we had our problems. Everybody does. Now, listen... Mac, I, uh... I know I'm late, but really, there's no need for a reception committee. Oh, lynching more like. You've got a surgery full of patients. You better get on with it. Sorry about that. That's all right. I should go, really. Quickly, stop breathing! <laughs> What's happening? Call an ambulance. Emergency, we need an ambulance. 17 Hillingdon Road. Do something! I am! <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Look, call someone. There isn't time. No, please don't let him die. I won't. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on! <laughs> yes! I need a coffee. Bad morning. I don't get paid enough to be a psychiatrist. We pay you. Not enough. I've just had a woman who hasn't had sex for seven years. Tell me about it. Her husband's just got out of prison. I mean, how do I know what's going on? I spent eight years training to be a doctor, not a probation officer. Or a sex therapist. Yeah, if all else failed. Was that Sheena Jansen you were talking about? I don't know. Could have been. Even we can't have that many patients whose husbands have been in a nick. She was in this morning. Well, I'll pop in on the way to see that baby. You can't do that. She's Caroline's patient. It's all right. I haven't known the family for years. Call it a social visit. I'll go now, Mr. Traffic. Mac. I won't be long. Mac. I know Sheena and I like her. She's had a rough time. She's still Caroline's patient. Well, Caroline won't know. Will she? To a chemist. Who's next? Liam Jackson. This way, please. You do realise you were meant to be doing home visits this morning? Sorry, forgot. And that everybody noticed. Oh, I'm really scared. And that we're rushed off our feet. Then what are you doing talking to me? To be honest, I'm not sure. I think I'm trying to make you see sense. You don't have to. I'm sorry. I'm not here to see sense, Kate. I'm here to see patients. Then why don't you get in earlier? Kate, forgive me for pointing out the obvious, but I'm here, ready, willing and very able. But there are no patients for me to see. That's because patients would rather see Mac, Helen or Caroline. More for them. He swallowed some of his own phlegm and choked. Blocked his windpipe. He stopped breathing for a while, but he's been fine since. He would have died if no one had been here. Someone was here. I wouldn't have had a clue what to do on my own. Thank you. It's fine. And then he's come up. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's oh. If you two can't wash up after yourselves, then you can get out! <laughs> Sorry, the uh, door was open. Dr. Maguire. Great advert for contraception. Oh. oh, they're all right most of the time. It's good to see you. I came into the surgery earlier. I know. 
Everything okay? Stupid question. Everything's very un-okay, isn't it? I know it's not really my business, but I No, was... it's okay. It's me and Ralph. Would you believe we got on better when he was in jail? We haven't stopped rowing since he came out. About what? Oh. Money. Kids. You know. Right. And he won't touch me. <laughs> he's been inside all this time. And now he's out. He, he won't make love to me. He won't even go near me. <laughs> he's just not interested. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with me. No. Right? Don't say that. I'm so rejected in all my life. <laughs> I've tried everything to please him. I... I just wanted our marriage back. But he doesn't. Maybe he just doesn't love me. Maybe he loves you too much. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You look fantastic. What did you say? He keeps getting sent home from school. Or... What do you think? Smelling so bad. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with him. You've no idea what's causing it? None at all. Can't seem to do anything with him. Can't take him anywhere. People won't come round. Liam? I don't ask him. He can't even smell it. He doesn't understand what's going on. There's nothing on or in his clothes, is there? No. The cleaner's a whistle. I do a wash every day and he gets a bath every day, every single day. All right. How's your breathing? Is it blocked at all? OK. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Can you lean your head back for me, Liam? I'm just here to see Sheena. Why? Because she came to the surgery this morning. So? Is something going on here? What? You and her, is that it? What do you mean? Because I'll kill you if it is. We were just talking. What right? You got to talk to my wife anyway. She's worried. About what? You! You know full well what I'm worried about. We have to do something, Ralph. We have to! I don't have to do anything! And even if I did, I don't have to talk to him about it. Why should I even give him the time of day? Because I can help. I don't need help! Oh, leave me alone. You've lost seven years of your marriage, Ralph. I don't need you to tell me that. So don't waste any more. Can I talk to him by himself? Yeah. Why can't he smell it? Whatever it is. That's normal. <sighs> it's like perfume. Once we put it on, our sense of smell switches off to it. Other people smell it, but we don't. Ah, I think we find the problem. What is it? I'm not sure. The growth? An abscess what? It would be a very strange growth. Why? It's plastic. What happens is something gets stuck up the nostril and various fluid congeals around it. After a few days, that begins to smell. But whatever it is... T-Rex, I believe. Oh, I've been wondering where that gone. You find it hard to adjust. Look, a lot of people have difficulties when they come out of prison. Well, just people who've been away from home for a long time. It's not only prisoners. I knew this soldier, a lot like you. He was in one of the parachute regiments, the SPS. Oh, yeah. So I trained in Belfast. I knew a lot of soldiers. Many of them went for months before they saw their wives. How oh, tough blokes. And nearly all of them said the same thing. Just like this bloke. He went on about how he couldn't wait to get home for months, playing it over and over in his mind. And when it actually happened, it would all go wrong. You see, things were different. The family had just had to carry on without him. His wife had gone on with her life. 
She still loved him, but it was different. And the poor sod didn't know what to think. Where do I fit in? That's what I think. The result was he had problems in the sack. That he blamed himself, she blamed herself, and they just tore each other apart. What did he do? He asked for help. That's what he did. Before it was too late. Has anyone seen Mac? Yeah, he's just popped out. All oh, right. Um, how is Steve? Difficult to tell, really. Mixed up, in shock. I don't suppose he'll really know what's going on for a while. You know it was in the papers. I'm sure that helped. That and not knowing who did it. <laughs> One of our patients, probably. Joe. Sorry. So what do we do? Well, Joe's put off as many patients as possible and we're trying to spread the rest across the practice. No, I mean, what do we do? I don't know. Give him time and space, I suppose. Want me? I don't. I'm here for you. Go away. As a friend. I said, go away. I want to be there for you. Don't you understand? Do you know where I was when my wife lay dying? I was with you. I was with you. I know. Yeah, well, I can't bear that. I hate myself for that. And every time I look at you, it makes me think of it. I'm sorry. No. I'm the one who's sorry. Go away. Now. Go away. I didn't understand it. I, I so wanted for it to be right, to make up for lost time. But I felt like a stranger. And when we got into the bedroom, it's called anxiety. I can't bear it. Me. Impotent. There are people you can see. The more Sheena tried, the worse it got. She bought sexy clothes, new underwear. Seven years I spent dreaming of her. Not like that. It's psychological. It need only be temporary. It just takes time. Get used to being out of prison, being at home, being with Sheena. It'll work out, believe me. I hope so. I know so. You sure? Positive. Like you were about the SPS? What do you mean? There's no such regiment. Isn't there? I met a lot of liars in jail. You're very good. I'll give you that. Okay with the baby? Eventually. He stopped breathing on me. What? I had to give him mouth to mouth. Is he okay now? Yeah, we called an ambulance. He's gone to hospital just to be sure. What if you hadn't have been there? Doesn't bear thinking about. Yes, it does. Rana should have been there. Where the hell were you this morning? I was late. As usual. I want to know why. I'm really sorry I had to wait for the gas man. I've got this leak. Again? What will it be tomorrow? A roadblock, a flood, what? What's the problem? I said I was sorry. The problem? We almost had a baby die today, and you should have been there. Anushka saved his life, no thanks to you. OK, OK. It won't happen again. Too right it won't. You realise if that baby had died, we could have been done for manslaughter. I want you on time, from now on, every day. Got it? Is that a threat? You bet it is. The doctor's going to arrange for me to see someone. Great. It may be best if both of us go. It's fine. Good. I'm pleased. So am I. Me too.
Blimey, is that the time? I better go. Sorry. I'm sorry. I really must go. I'll ring you. 